Never gets easier. It never gets easier. So I was totally confused before that game, if you could tell. Well, I did a bad job of explaining it to you. You, you called him. The music going. Okay. I didn't realize that they were announcing the homecoming court. They well, were standing here, but I'm like, what I are they? I figured they had to be right next to you. They were, but I didn't know what they wanted. I'm like, because I went to her, she's like, you want us to read it now? I'm like, well, let me see what Bob has. Because he was getting the music ready, and then I'm like, Then you said, get it going. I thought you meant the music, so I started. <laughs> Nobody's coming. I'm like, <laughs> And welcome to Friday Night Lights. Once again, it's homecoming week here at Goodnow Field in Maquoketa High School, and the Marion Indians will be the opponent tonight for Maquoketa. Um, Dale Scott, along with my normal partner Chad Coakley here on MCSN. Another Friday night, Chad, another homecoming, and uh, we've already had the parade day of first for MCSN. We broadcasted that and had a blast. Yeah, that was fun, very fun. Enjoyed it, so now uh, after a week, week long of activities, it's it's game time. Well, Marion comes in with a record of 0-5, and Makoka to 2-3, and, and last year uh, Makoka went up to Marion and got pounded on 42-7. But this ain't the same Marion team we faced last year now, is it? No, they're a lot different look to them from what I can see. And, you know, I'm noticing they don't have a lot of players. They're not numbers on the sideline. I don't have any of the stats in front of me, so Dale, I'll rely on you for those. There you go. Now you got them in front of you. I do know that uh, the one of the guys that kind of slashed us last year's back is running back Isaac Cachetta, but... Um, I don't think that they even have close to the same line that they had last year, which opened up a lot of holes yeah, for Yeah, he had some run room last year, but this year he's only got 132 yards on 44 carries, so just a three, three yard per carry average and one touchdown. Yeah, he had 97 on six carries against us last year and one long touchdown with 71 yards, so. And they only got one other guy with over 50 yards rushing, and that's Connor Whalen with 11 for 52 yards. So for the Cardinals, it's been a rough three-game stretch. Uh, last week, uh, going down to Cedar Rapids Xavier, really put up a good fight, though. You came out of that game, you know, expecting the worst, but they actually played pretty well overall. Yeah, no turnovers, right? No fumbles, no interceptions no. lost, and uh, put up some yards. And uh, you know, I think we we had a couple hundred yards uh, offense in the first half, and a couple drives stalled out in the second half, but. Oh. 
So we'll wait for the band to come off the field and we had the announcement of the homecoming court and king and queen as well as Dixie Solomon was the king this year. Carrie pick up the queen and then we had the pie in the face in the earlier game and uh, not to mention the earlier game, the soft, fresh soft uh, Moors won for the sixth time this year. They're six and zero on a defensive six nothing game over yeah. Marion. It wasn't a ton of offense, and Marion really did a nice job stopping our running attack in that sophomore game. And we've had a lot of success all year running the ball, but uh, yeah, defensive defensive struggle on that one. So uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors as well: uh, Cibisma Eye and Vision Center, Smiles on Main, PC Sports. Dan's Barbershop and JM Transportation for bringing this game tonight and seeing their commercials we go. I do have let viewers know at home or if you're listening, there are some internet issues going on in the press box. So if you have some buffering or cutting out, that's why. I've been trying to fix it all night, but I guess I gotta go with what I gotta go. So McCoker's gonna receive the kick here when we get started. Yep, Marion won the toss. They deferred to the second half, so Makokota will receive. And Makokota will be going from our right to our left. And they got the black jerseys on that the, they broke out against DeWitt with the red pants. And the wind is blowing from right to left, right? Yeah, that the flags out there and the flagpole are staying up pretty well in the wind out there. So there is some uh, strong wind going on about 10 miles an hour at least. No, he's good. You can go cover up with mom when she gets back. So Jaffer Murphy will kick off for the Marion Indians. At the end and Grunewald are both deep back at their own Cardinals five yard line. Murphy has it teed up. Now he's getting his position. We got the whistle. Has to adjust his sock. And we are now underway, homecoming 2019. It's gonna come down to Atienza, catch at the one. He's gonna return it, comes up the left sideline, looking for a block. He's out past 25 and down about the 27. Brought down on the play by number 15, CJ Anderson of the Indians. He was tackled by number 12 for the Indians, Ryan Colton. Ball is being spotted at the 27 yard line. So is this the homecoming week? Is this the play called the? Uh, oh, I don't know. You know, did they put th they put anything in or? I don't know. There well, was the players. The players won the bid, right? There was a little scuttlebutt about it. So, well, they're in a. Oh my God! Under center. Got a power eye. Coakley under center. Everybody in the line, and it's going to be a handoff and pass to Grunewald before he hits the line of scrimmage to on it and it's no incomplete so I guess there was a play call yeah, there it was <laughs> and unlike uh, superintendent Hoover's last year this one not as successful so now we can probably settle down and go back to our base offense yep and that's what we'll do I have trip receivers to the near left at the end to split out far right. Connor Becker to the right of Coakley in a shotgun. Meshes, can the keep off right tackles Coakley. Gonna have a good gain out to about the 34, maybe 35. Brought down by Isaac Jacoda, number five for the Indians at the 34. Marion runs pretty much the same defense as Makoka does, a 4-3. Same look here. Third and three, trips to the near side, at the end of far side. Becker to the left of Coakley this time. And he's gonna hand it off to Connor. He'll try that right side and it's gonna be uh, at close. The I think they got him. I think he got it. Yeah, the yep, they're saying bring it. Far side official says move the sticks. It's a first down. They'll place the ball at the Cardinal 38 yard line, first and ten. Grunewald, Christ, and Onan split out to the near side to the left. Atienza by himself. Becker to the right of Coakley. Coakley keeps himself. And they're just going to hammer it on that right side. He's going to pick it up out to about the 41.
Tackled in there by number 57, Christian Lacosi. So 41 yard line, second and seven. Short seven, call it six. Now the trips go far right by the Marion sideline. Coakley with the snap. Option pitch to the left to Connor Becker, and he is going to be out in midfield. You know, first down, I think. Yep. Chased out of bounds by Lucas Unson. This will be spotted right at midfield, the 50, first and 10 Cardinals. Isaac Christ will bring in the play from the sideline as he and Usually Blaze Luna switch in and out the plays. So they'll pack the, the short stack, the trips to the right uh, just off the tackle this time. Becker will head that way. Not a lot of room, maybe a gain of a half a yard at most. And he's stacked up on the play there by number 55, Thomas Mac McAllister. And Isaac Chicota as well. So no gain, he'll spot it back at the 50, second and 10, Cardinals, 9.33 here to go. First quarter just underway. Same formation this time with the sh short stack trips to the right, Becker to the left of Coakley in the shotgun. Option pitch to the left, Becker gets it and gonna only have gain of one, tackled on the play by number 57, Christian Lacos. It's going to be third and long, third and nine. What do you dial up here, Chad? I don't know. I'd, I'd be tempted to throw it, but jet sweep maybe. Now they're going to send trips far to the right side by the Marion sideline on and Chris and Grunewald in the slot. At the end of here to the near side on the left. Becker to the right of Coakley in the shotgun. Coakley's going to roll out, bootleg to the right, looking downfield, throws a sidearm to on in, and it's going to skip in there before he can corral it underneath, be incomplete, be fourth and ten. Be wholesale changes, punting team will come in. Coakley will drop back to kick it away. Lucas Unsen will be the single back for Marion, standing back at about his own 18-yard line. Coakley with the rugby-style kick to the right, and he does get it off, and it's going to take a big cardinal bounce at the 15, down inside the 10. He's going to be down about the 7 or 8-yard line down there. And that's where Marion will have it, first and 10 at the 8-yard line. Do the cameras. Wish we could come out and put some points up right away. Right in front of it. So 8.23 on the clock here in the first quarter. Marion running the wing T offense. Got two wing backs, a single back with this one split out or double split outs each side. And they're gonna throw. Yeah, that's a rare oddity for them, and he does complete the pass out there. Trying to pick up the number, because Marion has the white jerseys with those god-awful yellow numbers. So Keenan Deers made the catch. So spot the ball at the 20, first and 10 Indians. Dropping back to throw again. He's got pressure for Taven Rich at the middle. Avoids him. Leo Beal flushes him right back to Taven and brings him down on the sack back at the Cardinal 16. Now oh, key play there. Never did get our picks to click in tonight, did we? With no. everything going on. No, it was a busy night up here trying to, with all the homecoming announcements and. It's still early on. We can still do it if you want. <laughs> I'm going Taven Rich and Leo Beal. <laughs> <laughs> Split outs both sides. Wingbacks on both sides as well behind the tackles. Now the 
Wing back goes in motion from the near side, far side. Oh. Carson hit as he threw it. Oh, and it completed. And there's something you don't see every day. Isaac Christ had it in his paws. Tried to, as uh, Carson got hit as he threw it, and it came off funky. Chris went up to try and intercept it and take it to the house for six and kind of stumbled. And it went through his hands and into the receiver's hands. He caught it and gained a yard to the 17. The Cardinals are getting some penetration in there. They're getting in the backfield in a hurry. Well, that Marion line is not even close to the size they had last year. That, that's one thing that I have noticed on their films. Split outs both sides, wing backs with a single set back, and there's going to be a false start as half the right side of the Marion line moved early. And that will set them back another five. It'll be third and 19 from the 11 yard line. Same formation again for the Indians. Carsonson gonna drop back, unloads the tight on the seam to Chetta and it's incomplete. As he had let him out a little bit too far and had Grunewald out in front. Jack Bowman coming up from behind. Be fourth and 19 from the 11. Marion will have the punt with 6.07 on the clock here in the first quarter. Well, Cardinals hopefully get some decent field position here. Punting from the end zone, so hopefully we can start on Marion's side of the field. Jaffer Murphy will do the punting for Marion. Oh, I thought that was going off. It's going to take a bounce out to 38 mm -hmm. and die. Cachetta will down it right there. And the Cardinals will spot the 39. The Cardinals will take over first and 10 at the Indians 39. So good field position to start this drive. Offense will come onto the field now. Gonna have doubles to the left. Doubles, nope. Gonna go with that wing back look for the Cardinals with Abe Mickle there behind his right tackle. And it's gonna be a handoff to Ryan Grunewald in the backfield. Takes a little stutter step to his left. Keeps on a trucking. Good hard run. Broke one tackle at the line and got him down the field about seven yards. Tackle by Unson for the Indians. Ball spot at 33 yard line. The second and three. At the end to split out to the left. Mickle now behind Rich on left tackle and Grunewald still in the backfield. It's going to be another Grunewald run as he sidesteps right behind the right guard and just bulls his way. Looking like John Riggins right now. Yeah. Gets down to the 25 for a first down. Determined not to let one guy bring him down. Good hard running. Really pumping his legs as he went. So first and 10 Cardinals at the Marion 25. No score yet. 5.02 to go first quarter. Same, well, yep, same formation again. Grunewald to the left. Grunewald's going to stutter step to his left. Gets across the field. He's to the 15, the 10, get through. 5. Touchdown. Touchdown, Cardinals. Well, that's a good start. What a good drive by Grunewald. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Ryan, can the other kids come out and play? <laughs> so Connor Becker will come out for the extra point. He's 11 of 14 on extra points so far this season. Make that 12 of 15 as this one is good. With 4.50 to go, first quarter, Cardinals take the lead, 7-0 on homecoming night here at Goodnow Field. You're, watching, you're listening to Makoka Cardinals football on MCSN. Looking for an eye care professional that is committed to your vision health and is fully involved in the local area? Then C. Bisma Eye and Vision Center is the full-service vision specialist for you. 
They offer comprehensive exams, contact and lens services, and more importantly, Cebisma Eye and Vision Center treats infections, removal of foreign bodies, and is able to treat diseases of the eye. They have glasses that meet all budgets and look forward to helping you with your vision needs. Contact them through their website at cbismaeyecare.com or call their office at 563-652-2795 to schedule an appointment and take care of your vision needs at Cebisma Eye and Vision Center of Makokota. Cebisma Eye and Vision Center is a proud sponsor of MCSN and Makokota Cardinal Athletics. And back here, good now field. Cardinals have it teed up. Connor Becker will be kicking off to Marion. Becker, it's going to be an onside kick, and it's going to be recovered by the Cardinals easily as Marion's front line took off down the field. And the Cardinals had a whole wall in front of the ball at the 50 yard line. Waited to hit the 48 and just fell on it. Onside, I missed it. Yeah, it was an onside kick. Peyton Schuler, I think, is either Peyton Schuler or Blaze Luna that came up with the ball. And on the Marion side of the field again. Yeah, so, so first and 10 Cardinals at the Marion 48. It's homecoming. You got to pull out all the stops, right? Oh, that was the one? So timeout, Marion. Is there a little fluster at the sideline right now? And Cardinals are all amped up here, jumping up and down. We'll take this timeout for one of ad from one of our sponsors. You watch, listening to Makokota Cardinals football on MCSN. Got a baseball or softball player at home? Then look to PC Sports to unlock their potential with individualized baseball and softball instructions with their personal instructors. Increase their bat speed and arm strength with proven enhancement programs. Contact PC Sports at 563-212-9685 for your player to be the best they can be. PC Sports is located at 1914 140th Street in Delmar, Iowa. The staff at PC Sports is always adding new programs and opportunities, so subscribe to their Facebook page to keep up with everything going on at PC Sports. Cardinals off to a really good start here. 4.48 to go first quarter, up 7-0. Offense back on the field after the onside kick recovery and a Marion timeout. Double wide to the far right. They got Abe Nickel on the left tackle for the wing back. Coakley fakes. Guys at the ends of down the scene. Makes the catch. Defender fell down. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cardinals, just like that. 48 yard touchdown pass. Can of Coakley to Caden Atienza on the seam slant. Defender fell down as Atienza reached out and made the catch. And just like that, it's 13 0 Cardinals. Nice play, good way to set that, they set that play up well. Oh yeah, been pounding the ball, pounding the ball in that same formation and then uh, just hit him on the quick slant. Connor Becker out to the extra point. And good. that is good, makes it 14 to nothing. The 6 439 to go here in the Mom said first you can quarter. get that blanket from Kayla, she's got a sweatshirt. Do you want to wait till mom comes over? It's fine. I am freezing, but I'm going to come back up here, okay? okay. You might want to just, unless you want to cuddle up with mom. It's warm up here. It's kind of warm up here. <laughs> you got the camera, Caden? Yeah. And the video. I lost the scoreboard cam, though. No. You know we should try as an onside kick. <laughs> you think that would work? Mm -hmm. We got teed up again. Connor Becker. I'll mess with that scoreboard cam, I guess, in the next break. Becker. Yeah, he's going to kick it away this time. Marion catches at the five. Picks off to his far left, oh, trying Jacob to get to the sideline. 
Breaks two tackles on the way, but Hunter Conley has got him wrapped up at about the 24 yard line. And Jacob Thompson had a beat on him back at about the 15. First and 10, Marion, they got the wing T formation out there. Quick oh. pass, and it's gonna sail over the receiver's head. Good play. I thought uh, Richie had a beat on that when the ball went up in the air. He, he might have had not been overthrown so bad. I think uh, Marion's doing uh, kind of what we thought they might do. Seemed like they've been run, run, run all year, but. They have to. Yeah, because Tampa Bay played earlier. This time it's a sweep to Cachetta. Gets out to the 32. Tackled by Chris. And Grunewald. Grunewald yep. And Abe Mickle wasn't too far behind, so the LNPD was in full yeah. force on that one. He's got some speed, Cachetta. Well, getting that backfield again. You warmer when I do this? All right, third down. Third and three. Get in there. Hand off to. Oh. Trying to see who has Cachetta. Yeah. Yeah, Cachetta on the carry. He's out to the 38 yard line. That's going to be enough for a first down for Marion. Who got, who got in the back? Somebody was almost there, broken up. Was a counterbacker? It looked like it, yep. Just missed him in the backfield. Chetta brought down by Richie Atkinson here in the near side corner. Well, watch the pass play again. They've been, seems like they've been passing on first downs. This time they got a little spread out in the power eye formation. Cachetta on, goes to the left, cuts back to the right, has a little bit of a lane, sideline. He's trying to outrun Atkinson. He gets the angle, able to get him out of bounds, but not before he gets down to the Cardinal 27 yard line. Is Cachetta escorted out of bounds by Atkinson? So 3.05 on the clock, first quarter. Same formation, power eye. Cochetta just sweep to the left, and there's penalty flags down. And Jack Bowman came up and made a tremendous tackle. Back at the 29. Got holding against Marion. Good pursuit there by the defense. and 20. That tackle on this side looks like he's pretty tall. Drops back. Now Rickers he tried to get him. He had pressure as soon as he got back by Mickle and Connor Becker it looked like was back there together and just decided to try and take off but couldn't get escape him from behind. Brought down at the 40. So it'll be second and 19. Or excuse me, second and 21. Come on, guys, gotta get going. 
Well, another big defensive play here. And now we're gonna have a timeout. Oh, Marion. Marion, their second timeout. With buck 48 left to go in the first quarter. Cardinals on top here in homecoming, 14 nothing. Watch, listen, Makoka to Cardinals football on MCSN. Got a baseball or softball player home? Then look to PC Sports to unlock their potential with individualized baseball and softball instructions with their personal instructors. Increase their bat speed and arm strength with proven enhancement programs. Contact PC Sports at 563-212-9685 for your player to be the best they can be. PC Sports is located at 1914 140th Street in Delmar, Iowa. The staff at PC Sports is always adding new programs and opportunities, so subscribe to their Facebook page to keep up with everything going on at PC Sports. And back here, Goodnow Field, minute 48 to go first quarter. Cardinals on top, 14 to nothing. Marion is just taking their second time out already. We, we might have a cord that'll work if they need a cord. Do we have an aux cord deal to play? Yeah. We probably got a cable somewhere. One thing we got is cables. I formation. Handoff. Just an ISO play to Cachetta and Dixie Solomon and Connor Becker and Isaac Chris combined to bring him down at the Cardinal 36 yard line. He's, he's limping a little bit here. He's a little ginger. Kachota, that is. Well, third and 21, just don't give up a big play. I'm guessing in this part of the field, they're probably going to go for it. I would assume so. Yep, they are. Drops back. Getting chased from behind by Becker oh. and Isaac Chris is going to mop up as they're going to drop him way back at the 44. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say now they're probably going to punt. <laughs> Sheets, Quan, and Mickel come in on punt return. Grunwald will drop back. Jaffer Murphy will come in to punt. Grunwald will set up back at his own 10 yard line as the ball is at the Cardinal 44. Got on and in front of him is a Ooh, high snap as Murphy's over. able to corral it, and it's a low okay, line driver. Out. Ooh, boy. That went right on top <laughs> of Hunter Conley, and he got lucky, yeah. got out of the way, and it he goes ducked, out of bounds. And I don't know if he didn't duck, I don't know if that misses him. Yep. Out of bounds at the 15, that's where Cardinals will take over on offense with 22 <laughs> seconds left here in the first quarter. <laughs> Camera's got a weird angle it's on tilted. it. It's tilted, yeah. It's Coakley, he takes the snap, just heads to off his left guard, straight ahead, and got enough for a first down, it looks like. And it's gonna be close. Maybe it'll be about a yard short. But they're gonna mark it down at the 24. Tackled by Ben Gibson, number 56 of the Indians. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. See if we can fix this angle here. Kai, let me. Makokota on top, 14 0. The end of the first quarter. Listen to Makokota Cardinals football on MCSN. There. It looks okay. Smiles on Main, a distinguished dental care provider, conveniently located in Makokota, Iowa. At Smiles on Main, we have a special interest in your dental health. Dr. Salvador, Buddy Atienza, Dr. Abby Giel, and their highly qualified team of professionals will work with you to create an individualized treatment plan specifically designed to address your unique needs. Nothing exudes beauty and confidence like a bright, vibrant smile. And at Smiles on Main, we believe that everyone deserves to experience life-altering benefits of a radiant, healthy smile. Smiles on Main is located at 119 South Main Street, Suite 1 in Makoka, Iowa. Schedule an appointment with Smiles on Main at 563 
And back here at Maquoketa, Cardinals. Coakley keeps it himself once again. Gets it out to the 30 yard line. Brought down on the play by number 52, Caden Swanger. Hey, there it goes. Got it back. All right, it's first and 10 Cardinals at their own 29 yard line. Empty backfield. Grunewald's the quarterback. Coakley's in the slot at the right. Grunewald's going to run a Wildcat to the left. He's got some room, and he's gone. The 50, 45, and then tackled up as the angle on him by the free safety over there. Didn't catch the number, but brought him down in Marion territory at the 43 yard line. Chad, you see your son line up in the slot there? No, I didn't see it. What happened? Cannon, Cannon lined up in the slot. Grunewald was the Wildcat and took off running. Huh. On that play right there? Yeah, that last play. Huh. Now we'll have in the wing back here with uh, Abe Mickle behind Taven Rich on the left side. Grunewald's going to take it right up the middle, busts one tackle, and busts another. Cuts outside to the right to the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, brought down. At the five-yard line by number 55, Thomas McAllister of the Indians. It'll be first and goal, Cardinals, with 10.35 to go on the clock here in the second quarter. Well, they don't have an answer for him, do they? Huh? Grun Grunewald's running hard tonight. Yeah, he is. His, his dad better get the hospital on 9-1-1 for the fourth you quarter. Have to, <laughs> have to hold it. it, it just... Becker to the left of Coakley in the shotgun. Atienza by himself. He's got the slant there if they want it. But nope, Coakley's going to take it straight ahead. He's got one on his leg, three on top. It's be a short gain down to about the three yard line. Tackled by number five, Isaac Jacoda. That's not mine. Did you drink out of this one? Oh, that's yours. I thought that was Caden's. <laughs> I thought he was drinking your pop. Luna brings in the play. Well, what do you call here, Dale? I like the same formation and throw the slant at the Enzo with no uh, outside help on the or on the inside help there, just wide one on one. Becker to the left of Coakley. He's going to head to his left, turn it up, and try to bull his way. He's going to be stopped short of the goal line, and down to the one. The Tackle by number line. 56, Ben Gibson. So third and goal at the one. Cardinals are going to hurry up to the line. No huddle. And Coakley just takes this under center quarterback sneak, and they're going to rugby scrum it into the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals. With 9-10 to go, second quarter. It's 20 to nothing on homecoming 2019. And this is how you play a homecoming game. <laughs> you know, they seem like they were ready to go tonight. Yep, all day. So Connor Becker come out for the extra point. Yep. Snap is good, the hold is good, the kick is good. And, and it's 21 nothing. It's good. So at 9-10 to go here in the second quarter, Cardinals on top, 21 nothing. You're listening to the Cardinals on MCSN. If you're looking for an old school cut, then Dan's Barbershop is just what you're looking for. No fancy frills, just a low cost cut with old time barbershop charm. Stop in and experience the social time that is lacking in this modern world. Dan's Barbershop is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Saturday, 7 a.m. to noon. Located at 301 North Main Street in Maquoketa, Iowa. And speaking of Saturdays, bring your cup of coffee and enjoy a free donut on Saturday morning as the main topic of conversation is usually centered around Maquoketa Athletics. Dan's Barbershop is a proud sponsor of MCSN and Dan says, let's go Cardinals! Cardinals have it teed up, 9-10 to go second quarter, 21-0 Cardinals, Becker to kick it away. And it's going to be a 
Right oh, to the left, and that just went off the side of his foot badly. And out of bounds at the yeah. 30, so spot the ball, what, the 35, I think it is? First I thought we were trying to do that play like the sophomores did, where Emmett Ports goes down and recovers on it. I tell you what, Emmett Ports has done that, what, two, Twi three times? At least twice, yeah. Two, three times this year. Can't wait to see that next year. They run that almost to perfection. Like I said before, the Cardinals sophomore team won six to nothing in She's game good. one. Okay. So went out of bounds at the 30. Why are they spotting at the 39? I don't get that. Yeah, I thought it was the four. I thought it just automatically went to the 40 or I something. I thought 35. Did it go out of the 29 and it's 10 yard penalty? I don't know. Who knows? They changed. They make the mm. rule. Although everybody got like three guys moving on that. No flags. Yeah, it looked like a false start. Karsten throws it out into the far flat to the right. It's incomplete over the head of the receiver over there. I think that was Daquan Johnson, the receiver. I'm having a hard time even reading numbers out there. Can you yeah, see them? It's tough, especially on the other side of the field. Yeah. Like even the kid running toward is that 15? Right. On the near side, yeah. Yeah. Should be outlawed. You should be able to see. It numbers. should be a little basketball went away with those, didn't yeah. they? Yep. Yeah. So second and ten, blitz is on. Is everybody's coming? Oh, Leo he's Beal. got him. Leo Beal's gonna have oh. some lunch, and he got to Carson and slammed him down. The ball came out. Carson slow to get up. He'll spot it at the 31-yard line of Marion. Not the guy you want running at you no. <laughs> in that situation. No. He's an animal. Leo Beal is hungry, and he got fed on that one. So the ball spotted at the 31. It's going to be second and 19. Actually, it should be 18, second and 18. Oh, and they run into each other. Yeah, busted play, and Connor Becker came right through the line and cleaned up. It's like Daquan John, or was it? C.J. Anderson had just gotten the handoff from Carsonson, and Becker basically tackled both of them right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Fourth and 22, Indians will have to punt. Jaffer Murphy in to punt. Grunwald goes back to his own 45. That's a high loping snap. Murphy does get it off. Grunwald's gonna come up, make oh. a, try to make the catch, and he muffed it as he had a Cardinal, oh, and got it. Cardinal and a Marion at his feet when he tried to Boy, make the I catch. Don't, I don't know who. Liam get that? No, he, Liam was the one that got blocked into him as he tried to make the catch. Who recovered that, though? I think Ryan got it back himself. Oh, did he? So the ball's right. marked at the Marion 48 where the Cardinals offense will come back out. Up 21-0 with 7.34 to go till halftime. First and 10. Never enough. We learned that last year. Nope. Keep pouring it on. If you can. Yeah. Onan and Chris come split out to the right. Mickles are right behind Taven Rich on the left and the wing back at the end of the far left. Hand off to Connor Becker who's in the backfield. Oh, he's going to see him. Yeah. A little stutter step. Gets through the line and into the secondary. Brought down on the play by number Carter Scott, number seven at the Marion, 47-yard line, so it'll be second and five. That Tianzo will go split out left. A. Mickle will be right behind his left guard this time. Grunewald in the slot to the right, on and split out. Becker to the left to Coakley. Coakley's gonna fake, drop out to his, roll out to his right. Ooh. Throws it to Grunewald at the 35, and a nice defensive play there by Marion. Yeah, that was almost, hmm. he read that. Daquan Johnson, number 16, cut in front of Grunewald and had a chance at an interception, but came up short. So third and five at the Marion 47. Atienza splits out left, 
Mickle behind left guard in the wing back. Grunewald and Luna split out to the right. Becker to the left of Coakley. Coakley is going to option it to the left. Pitches it to Becker. Mm. And he's going to get stuffed at the 44. Lucas Onsen on the tackle, so it's going to be fourth and three. And looks like punt team is going to come onto the field. So Coakley will drop back to punt. Unsen will drop back for the Indians back at his own 13 yard line. Cachetto will go back to join him. Coakley with a rugby style kick and it's going to be blocked. He waited too long to get it off. Marion picks it up and they got to make a tackle and Coakley lays a shoulder into him and brings him down finally at the Cardinal 41 yard line. Quan Johnson picked it up, returned it about eight yards. And they'll spot it at the Cardinal 40. Mm. So Marion first and 10 at the Cardinals 40 with six minutes even left in the second quarter. Cardinals on top, 21 nothing. Wing T formation. One single split out to the left. It's going to be a quarterback mm. keeper as he rolls out to the left. And that looks like it's Wyatt Cannon in at quarterback right now. Is that number 10 out there? No, that's Ryan Paulson, number 12. Uh, you know, we got back there. It just, it's almost like our, <clears throat> almost like we outran him. Yeah, first and 10 is the. Or got too deep behind him. Gain took him down to the 29. Chetta goes in the bubble motion and able to flip it away. Paulson at the last second to Cachetta on a little flip. On and with the tackle, but not before he picked up a good chunk of yardage there, about seven yards down to the 23 yard line of Makokota. Fingal split out to the left. Paulson at quarterback, runs off to his left, turns it up as he gets to the tackle. Mm. David Rich drives <laughs> him back. Yeah, almost almost twisted, but almost laugh, broke him in half yeah, when he, almost, he made almost, contact and drug him back. Almost planted him right into the ground. He could have grew a flower there for next spring. <laughs> so, <laughs> timeout, <laughs> timeout Marion. Oh. Be third and one at the Cardinals 21. We come back here on MCSN. Are you an intermodal freight forwarder or broker and looking for a trucking company to take care of your customer? Then give JM Transportation a call. They offer attractive rates to handle the intermodal containers in Denver, Colorado regional area. JM Transportation can be reached at 720-606-4233 or at Email them at dispatch at jmtransportation.net. Now field out of the timeout. 21 nothing Makokota, 437 to go, second quarter. Marion with a third and one at the Cardinals 21. Paulson just straight ahead, quarterback sneak, and he got stopped by Dixie Solomon right at the point of contact. Yeah, he didn't give him the first, but. You can't give him that much of a forward motion on that. Dixie, I thought Dixie almost had the ball out of there. I, he had him stuffed. He didn't even get past his center's butt before Dixie had him stood up, so I don't know why they gave him such a good spot, but it looks like it's short. I'm trying, oh. to, I'm trying to eye it up, and then they just That looks short to me, but they say move the chains. <laughs> yeah. Really? Now that's one, you know, call for a measurement if you're not right? sure. And they were really. I think Kevin Bowman, Coach Bowman's asking for why we didn't come measure that. And now they already moved them, so now they can't. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I would have measured that one. I don't think he gained a, an inch from the Well, the ball, Dixie scrimmage. was grabbing the ball. 
I think it was Dixie. Yeah, it was. Um, I thought the ball was going to come out, and he was not past the, the 20. Wing T, Paulson, quick pitch to Cachetta, run into the left. Connor nice Beckford, play. I'll leave him on, and that is came up and met him right at the 20 and drag him right down. Isaac, Isaac Christ had the good penetration to kind of blow the play up in the backfield. Yep. Up a second so second and seven after the three-yard gain. Ball's at the 16 of Makokota. Clock running, 3.42 to go first or second quarter. Split out to the near side to the left. Two wing backs with a single back behind Paulson under center. Gonna come out, just keep her over left tackle. Oh, and Leo, Leo reeled out. <laughs> it almost looked like he had a face mask, but he had his jersey. jersey yeah, yeah. The, 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 uh, the jersey on the shoulder pad. and Just threw him like a rag yeah, doll. just enough to grab him and hold him up. So obviously the Cardinals are a lot more physical than Marion is yeah. so far in this game. 15 yard lines where they spot it, gain of one, so it'll be third and six. Hey, hey, that's Caden's nose. He broke it for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> Third and six, Marion, Cardinals 15. Quick pass as he gets drilled as soon as he got the snap and just chucked it. And Dixie Solomon laid him out. You know, it was a pretty decent pass for as quick as he had to get rid of it. Well, too bad it wasn't no time for a receiver to even yeah. get that far downfield. Well, I think the if the kid. receiver would have maybe looked, he might have had a chance to make a play on the ball. But, uh, but good job by the Cardinals defense because they forced him to get rid of that right away. Are they going to kick field goal here? Well, Jaffer Murphy looks like he's out in the field, and he's their kicker. So at the 15-yard line, they'll, where are they going to mark it down? At the 22, it's going to be a 32-yard field goal attempt by Murphy. It's on the left hash. Ooh. Cardinals got penetration. And the blocked. kick is up. Did that still make it through? It, it did. Made, just snuck in the right upright. That field was blocked, goal. wasn't it? It looked like. Did that get tipped? It might have. But did that it, get tipped? Did that get tipped? You're asking a guy that doesn't have like I know. I thought about that after I saw, looked at you and I asked. Wrong guy. So 21-3 with 2.29 to go here in the first or first half. This this is why you practice a two-minute offense. <laughs> so on the return here, do you want to do a triple reverse? <laughs> triple reverse with a lateral across the field. <laughs> I'm going to bid on that play next year. <laughs> so Jaffer Murphy, to kick it off, has it teed up. Etienne's and Grudenwald back at their own five-yard line. Murphy's kick. Ooh, that's, that's a good, good one. I might go through the goal post. Yeah, hit, nope, just hit, short. Hit just at the bottom of the, ex of the uh, base of the goal post. So the first and 10 Cardinals at their own 20 to start the drive with 2.29 to go, and they got all three of their timeouts, so. That's Don't have a, to panic. That was a 60 yard kick. Yeah. So he's got the leg. I'm surprised he's not playing an offense or defense though. Mm -hmm. that, that's what's surprising yeah. to me, that Murphy's not out yeah. there. Did he last year? I, I thought he did. He's a good athlete. So trips to the right side, single to the left. It's going to be a hand. Oh, nope, Coakley's going to keep it. It has a little space up the middle. He's got enough for a first down, and he's dragging Marion Indians with him as he's out towards the 35-yard line. Brian Paulson, number 12 on the tackle. So some quarterback on quarterback violence there, huh, Chad? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Ball spotted down to 34. Clock running, 2.09 to go until half. Trips to the right. At the ends it by himself to the left. Becker to the left to Coakley. This time he's going to give it to Becker. Looks for a spot. Picks it. Gets up in the secondary. If he gets to the Jets, he might be gone. He's at the 40, 35, 30. He's one man to beat. Mm. And he's going to get drugged down by a, the Marion Indian there. It went for his legs. Daquan Johnson on the tackle. Just had enough of an angle that Connor couldn't outrun yeah. him. But... Big game for the Cardinals. Timeout, Makokita, as they'll spot the ball at the 18-yard line. First and 10. So timeout, Makokita. We'll take a quick timeout ourselves. You're listening to Makokita Cardinals football on MCSN. Smiles on Main, a distinguished dental care provider, conveniently located in Makokita, Iowa. At Smiles on Main, we have a special interest in your dental health. Dr. Salvador, Buddy Atienza, Dr. Abby Gill, and their highly qualified team of professionals will work with you to create an individualized treatment plan specifically designed to address your unique needs. Nothing exudes beauty and confidence like a bright, vibrant smile. And at Smiles on Main, we believe that everyone deserves to experience life-altering benefits of a radiant, healthy smile. Smiles on Main is located at 119 South Main Street, Suite 1 in Maquoketa, Iowa. Schedule an appointment with Smiles on Main at 563-652-4133. at the Marion Indians 18 yard line. Trips to the right, Coakley option to the left and it's behind Becker and Becker's gonna have to fight to get that loose ball on the ground. Looks like he got there before three Indians were right there to pounce on him. So that'll take it back to the 20, 22 yard line. It's like he pitched it behind him a little bit. Yeah. Connor tried to be Reach back with the left hand, but. I'd like to give a shout out to James Depke listening to us tonight. Oh, I was gonna give a shout out to Caleb Coates on his ninth birthday. There you go. Trips to the right, single to the left. Becker to the right of Coakley. He's gonna roll out to his right. Looks like he's gonna throw, now he's gonna take off. Gets down inside the 20. Tackled by number 52, Caden Swinger at the 18 yard line. So it looks like it's gonna be a third and 10 at the 18. And the Cardinals will take their second timeout. They have one remaining with 106 on the clock. You're listening to Cardinals football on MCSN. Are you an intermodal freight forwarder or broker and looking for a trucking company to take care of your customer? Then give JM Transportation a call. They offer attractive rates to handle the intermodal containers in Denver, Colorado regional area. JM Transportation can be reached at 720-606-4233 or at, email them at dispatch at jmtransportation.net. And the Cardinals back here good now. Third and 10 at the Indians 18 yard line. Minute 06 on the clock. And they're gonna get the Indians off sides it looks like. Coakley with the hard count. So that'll make it a little more manageable. Third and five from the 13 now. Minute five to go. Got one timeout left. Third down and five for the Cardinals at the Indians. I'm going to give up on that scoreboard cam for the time being. It keeps locking up on me. Hmm. Trips to the left. Etienne's it by himself here to the right. Coakley drops back, looks left. Screen pass back to the right. Oh. And Connor tried to make a one-handed well, catch, but he had pressure all over him with, uh, looked like number 55 was all over him. That was Thomas McAllister. Yeah, I think it was, there was pressure from the backside on that, and I think it forced him to throw it a little 
Oh, so we're going to let Connor Becker kick a 32-yard field goal What's here? Uh, I thought maybe we'd try one, huh? No. Nope. Nope. We're going to lose. Brady's Lunica brings in an offensive play. So fourth and five. Hard count again, you think? That wouldn't be a bad idea, especially if you got that one time out. With nobody to the left side of the... Yeah, just sweep. double wides. We got next. We got Grunewald lining up a tight end. Coakley gonna throw it all the way back across to Grunewald, and it's batted around with the defender there. And I think that play was doomed when Grunewald fell down off the snap of the ball and threw the timing way off on that because that looked like a solid misdirection throwback. Yeah. So first and ten, Marion as they'll take over possession on the failed fourth and five with 52 seconds to go until halftime. 21-3, Cardinals on top. Yeah. Oh, that's Drops a wobbly one. Turn around. Paulson. Oh. He just throwing it up for grabs downfield. He got it out to the 40, but Conley and Grunwald had a better shot at maybe catching that. Yeah, they were both just a little bit too far away from it. So second and 10 at the 13. 47 seconds to go. Marion, option to the left, and he's going to get tackled before he can pitch it by Julio Beal again. Now the way he was carrying that, I thought the ball was going to come out of there. So 36, 35 seconds to go, clock ticking. Be third and 10, or excuse me, third and six at the 16. And I don't think they're going to in any hurry. It looks like the play clock is one second more than the game clock, so they don't have to snap it. I don't know if you're McCoy. Do you take a timeout here and make them snap? I guess mm. it don't matter. You won't get the punt no. anyway. So we're going to go to halftime with a 21-3 lead. Here, homecoming 2019 and good now. Take a quick break. We'll come back for our halftime guest, uh, Kate Scott. William Penn, base, freshman on uh, the baseball team at William Penn University, will join us and talk about his experiences so far here on MCSN. Looking for an eye care professional that is committed to your vision health and is fully involved in the local area? Then C. Bisma Eye and Vision Center is the full service vision specialist for you. They offer comprehensive exams, contact and lens services, and more importantly, Cebisma Eye and Vision Center treats infections, removal of foreign bodies, and is able to treat diseases of the eye. They have glasses that meet all budgets and look forward to helping you with your vision needs. Contact them through their website at cebismaeyecare.com or call their office at 563 652-2795. To schedule an appointment and take care of your vision needs at Cebisma Eye and Vision Center of Maquoketa. Cebisma Eye and Vision Center is a proud sponsor of MCSN and Maquoketa Cardinal Athletics. Smiles on Main, a distinguished dental care provider, conveniently located in Maquoketa, Iowa. At Smiles on Main, we have a special interest in your dental health. Dr. Salvador, Buddy Atienza, Dr. Abby Giel and their highly qualified team of professionals will work with you to create an individualized treatment plan specifically designed to address your unique needs. Nothing exudes beauty and confidence like a bright, vibrant smile. And at Smiles on Main, we believe that everyone deserves to experience life-altering benefits of a radiant, healthy smile. Smiles on Main is located at 119 South Main Street, Suite 1 in Maquoketa, Iowa. Schedule an appointment with Smiles on Main at 563-652-4133. And back here at halftime at Makoka, is good now field. Homecoming 2019, Cardinals enjoying a 21-3 halftime lead. 
And I'm joined by Kate and Scott, who's a freshman at William Penn University. And you just recently had your uh, first uh, collegiate action uh, Monday night as William Penn's varsity reserve went and played a doubleheader over at uh, Mount Mercy in Cedar Rapids Monday night. How, how did you, how was your experience with that? Um, is, my, is it on? Yeah. All right. Um, I'd say I started out, the bus ride was really like the first experience. Uh, really jittery, sitting in the seat, the whole bus ride, moving my knees, uh, just trying to go on my phone to get my head off of how, I, I wouldn't say nervous, but excited I was. And I just kept replaying plays in my head that it would happen and, you know, great things and just hearing the crowd. Um, had the jitters. And it was a fun experience being with the guys. I've made a lot of great friends so far. It was cool being in the dugout. Um, I definitely like the field Mount Mercy has. That was kind of a nice field to be playing on. Yeah, they got an artificial surface over there, and yeah. something that you aren't is something that most kids probably aren't familiar with. That, but you you do have experience with that. Is before yeah. you moved to Makoka, you went you played at Joplin High School, and they they had the same kind of artificial yeah, surface. Yeah, and uh, a couple of my friends and I, we have a uh, pack turf of like 40 yards of turf and we took about three to four hours of ground balls throughout the week getting ready to play on that same surface and so we were prepared for how the ball played on that a little bit so as far as uh, college is concerned has it been a big adjustment to you or you enjoying it I'd s the adjustments were easy I'd say in my part yeah I find it easier than high school I don't know if it just clicks in my head that I'm more of a dedicated student now <laughs> um, it helps to be on a sports team where they do put academics first. They make us get our homework done. It's not you're, we're, you're not we're not there just to play baseball. They really put it in our heads that academics and attendance are a high priority. And Coach Laird is always preaching that every meeting we have. He always ends it with academics and attendance. So take me through a normal day for you. You're pretty busy all day long, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I usually wake up around 7, 7.30 each day, get in the shower, have a bowl of cereal, a cup of coffee, get my morning things done, look at maybe if I forgot to do a homework assignment, maybe finish that up or do some. And then I got about a 15-minute walk to class every day. And then I get in class. I usually get there about 15 minutes early because I'm that type of guy to want to sit in the back and get a good seat in the back. Um... I usually have a, I have a range of from two to four classes each day. I get an hour in between to go to the cafeteria, and then about two o'clock, I hit up some of my friends, and we go take ground balls for an hour, two hours, depending until what time our practice or our lift is. And I usually spend all my whole afternoon focusing on baseball or weightlifting, and then uh, every night throughout the week, seven to nine p.m., we have study hall in the library. So busy days. Yeah. I yeah. definitely don't have a lot busy. of free time, <laughs> but it, I mean, I'm busy doing stuff that I like other than maybe the classwork for the first half of my day. Got to do what you got to do, though. Yeah. So uh, also uh, another Maquoketa grad, the MCHS uh, 19 grad, was uh, Aaron Bramer is on the football team there, and you, you see him quite frequently. I think you have a couple uh, classes together. And yeah, we have classes every day with each other. We sit next to each other, and we talk about, you know, kind of have the casual conversation about how our programs are doing and how what friends we've made and talk about our experiences and, and we see each other at the cafeteria and he's a uh, starting wide receiver on the varsity reserve team and they play on Sundays they do they don't play every Sunday okay. but when they can get a game in I don't know if they play the same team that their varsity played previously on Saturday night but they do play on Sundays how is the varsity team doing on uh, I believe football? they are one three and one they did upset like a top ranked team. They beat team. a Baker from, I believe they're from Kansas. Kansas. And they were, I believe, ninth or 13th, one of those numbers in the country. And they beat them 21 to 17, I believe. So that's good. They did, uh, they were going to beat Central Methodist University, but the God said no and it decided to rain for 24 hours straight. So they just canceled the game after the first quarter. That. Yeah, I did see that. They were waiting for the delay to end for about a good three hours. Um, what, would, what would be your advice to someone like a Maquoka High School student currently that looking to play in a sport in college? What kind of advice would you give them now? Get your name out there. I mean, how I got my name out there is I signed up for NCSA, 
they found my profile and coaches it was an e it's an easy way for coaches to find you um, and you gotta always think somebody's looking you know everybody thinks d1 or die or but no I mean you got d2 d3 NAIA everybody's looking and so and that's, it's an opportunity to get your name out there to the next level and NAIA it's kind of different the NCAA there's so many regulations and rules and the NAIA is a lot more lax. You, you guys can almost play year-round yep. without any We can always be with our coaches. Yeah, you got that contact. It's, it's even more relaxed on the high school level, I think, is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That, that's very true because there is no contact in Iowa yeah. high school sports and during special times of the year. Yeah, I mean, even the, uh, like well, the ability. What about that. academics? What would you say to that for someone looking to go to college? I like the smaller schools in my way because there's less people and you can ask questions with the professor and get face to face where if you go to University of Iowa, you sit in big old open Lecture place halls. Yeah, with the 200 people and maybe you don't get your chance to ask your question or they don't allow for that because they have 200 kids. Um, I find it easier for me to learn at the lower school level probably than I would get more of that yeah one-on-one -on -one. yeah yeah and you're always you can go talk to your professor whenever you want and I'm sure with those 200 students they have four of those classes or something and you don't have always the open times to meet with your professor I mean I've met with professors multiple times just to ask them hey I didn't quite understand what you were talking about can you catch me up to speed a little bit or just to catch up and then uh, so you went to William Penn as a Started out as a utility player, and you <laughs> playing in the outfield, and what happened? Uh, first practice, the first couple practices, we were all the team. I was in the outfield, and then we come to our first inner squad, and I see my name in the lineup at second base. <laughs> I was like, okay, I, I'm sure they know I'm a utility. I'll just play in second base to fill in for somebody or something, and I'll go to the outfield later. Second and third inner squads come. I'm at third base, third base, and then finally practices my – one of our coaches says, Caden, I want you to stay at third base for the time being. And I've been playing there in the JV game the other night. And I feel comfortable with it. Yeah, it's I mean, not it like you haven't played there no. before. That, that's the thing. And that's another thing, especially in baseball. Uh, it, my advice, you know, I think I've kind of conveyed this to you over the years that play any position, play, play them all. And, yeah. and you literally did that. I'm throughout your career, you've played every position. Now you're not a pitcher, and we kind of scrapped no. that, you know, years ago, and that's fine. But even up, w there was one spot you never played in, and you got thrust into that position in this <laughs> last varsity season for Makokita at first base. And when coach told me to go there, I laughed and thought he was joking. <laughs> I have never played an inning in my 18 years at first base, and I ended up playing like what seven full games there. And I well, like the second half of the season, I almost. did pretty well. I mean, I. I struggled in the beginning with going places, but I got it down, and by the district game, I was scooping balls, and I knew where I was supposed to be. I got my butt chewed a couple times <laughs> learning the process, though, but I got there. That's good. I even caught a couple games, I think, my sophomore and junior year. And no, I wasn't probably the best option to be back there, but I could do it. I could be liable. I think the moral of the story is in order to go to college to play a sport like baseball, you don't have to be the shortstop. You don't have to be a, a pitcher that strikes everybody out. It, you, you don't have to specialize in one position. You, you can play all over the place and, and play it well and learn it. And I actually think coaches kind of look for that too, to have that flexibility. Yeah, so. it's nice. I mean, I, I would assume baseball is probably one of the easier sports to play all the positions. Now in football, you can't go out there and learn free safety really quick with all the zone coverages. Well, that's also based on size yeah. too and athletic ability. So baseball is probably like the easier sport to be a utility, but it just takes a lot of, I mean, I've been playing baseball since I was like four, so I mean, and I watch major leaguers all the time, so I kind of just watch them and learn the footwork and what it takes to do that position where they need to be. So who, so who's your favorite Makokota Cardinal baseball player of all time? Is it me or is it Chad? Is it Ray or Brad? Who <laughs> 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 well, who hit the most dingers? Well, Brad. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go, Brad. Well, Randy Manning, yeah. Well, no, he got hit overtaken too. Yeah, Lucas Patterson has a record. But Randy, Hunter Manning's dad, had the record for quite a long time. Whoever has the most dingers, that'll take the cake. 
<laughs> and speaking of which, and you, uh, it's funny you say that, whoever hit the most dingers, because you never hit a dinger in high school. No. Yet you finished fourth all time in the bats in high in Makokota High School history with the most fourth most at bats without hitting a home run. It's something to look at and something you can be like, oh man, like is that a good recognition to have? But I mean, everybody's a different type of hitter. I mean, I've been close. I've been feet away. I think my senior year I had four balls that you know if I just had an extra ten feet or four feet. A foot one time in Northeast, it really went over. Yep. One thing I do regret, though, regret is if there's any freshman out there, get to the weight room. I was scared as a freshman. You were scared as a sophomore and a junior, too, yeah, I think. Well, you started yeah. to figure out your junior year. Yeah, I need to do something. my junior year, and I recognized I'm not going to get anywhere if I don't get stronger. I mean, my strength contributed to a lot. I came in my junior year having, I think I batted 130 with 10 hits, and then I ended my senior year. With 22, I doubled and some the hit amount of hits by just simply getting in the weight room. I mean, I believe that's the only difference I had in the off season. It's amazing what the weight room does, and I would really preach that. And when I have my when I have my own kids someday, I'm gonna be preaching them to get in the weight room, and hopefully they do it. I mean, don't be scared. Everybody's in the right room to get get better with a purpose. And if people are gonna make fun of you, then let them be them. But you're trying to get better. Well, don't. Try not to be as hard on your kids as, as <laughs> your dad was on you. <laughs> it probably benefited me in some points. And it was probably detrimental in others, but that's neither here nor there. Well, I, wish, I wish I could still pitch, though. <laughs> your dad does, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thanks for taking the time to join us. I know we wanted to do this a couple weeks ago, but we were kind of holding a surprise visit home and <laughs> couldn't put you on the air. But I'm kind of glad we did, didn't did get to do it because then we had more to talk about with you. Yeah, and, and also your first collegiate at bat, your very first pitch. Yep. Base hit to left. Yep. And it wasn't a bloop or anything. No. It was strong, nice. Nice, solid nice hit. Swing, everything. And it felt nice. Um, the funny thing, I, I, I said to your mother in the stands, I'm like, he's playing third. He's batting third. How did this work out? Because <laughs> you always batted like sixth and seventh my whole sixth junior and senior and year. Except for junior year, I started I think Sec second, 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 third, and I dropped down after I wasn't producing. But I yeah. understand that switch. But the one thing I also figured out is my first ever high school at high school at bat varsity level base hit. You but were, it was yeah, it was you had like against six, out, six out of ten hit or ten at bat six hits in your first. Yeah, 10 I at started bat. out hot, you know, and that's. Showing to be a correlation of the collegiate level too, and I hope it doesn't dip down my next year <laughs> like it did at varsity. But I still remember my first varsity hit three or four years ago, West Delaware. It was a blooper, but I'll take it. And I'd and I'd also say this, you know, we talk about you and you, you talk about struggling and stuff. You want to play a college sport? Just reach out to coaches, the assistant coaches. Just show them that you – just tell them you want to play. Send them a – have your parents send a quick clip of video. Uh, keep it under 30 seconds. Yep. Uh, maybe three or four of them with different stuff. Don't send them just the best. Send them also the, the worst. Because you remember, I even put you striking out on your profile as yep. one of them. Don't be afraid to show the negative, too. Coaches are looking for attitude. They're looking for academics. Um, it's not just talent, like we said. And there are places – all over the country. If you want to play in college, they are out there. You just got to make it known to these people, and they will have you in and talk to you. And and you don't have to be a superstar. You never hit above 250 for a season nope. in high school, even though you were a three-year starter in on varsity level. But but you you still showed that you had some ability. You had the right attitude. You had the academics, and you want you had a passion to play. And that's all it took. Yep, you can so never don't, quit. Don't give up if you're not a superstar player. You want to play in college, yeah. it's out there. Go All you got to do is get that opportunity and shine. Yep. I have the opportunity in front of me, and I, my first collegiate game, I showed what I bring to the team, and let's see if it keeps going up from there. All right. Well, thanks again for joining us, and uh, good luck the rest of the winter, and I guess I'll see you uh, in Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> thanks for having me. All right.
We'll be back here as halftime still going on. Cardinals on top, 21 to three here at Homecoming 2009 over Marion on MCSN. Got a baseball or softball player home? Then look to PC Sports to unlock their potential with individualized baseball and softball instructions with their personal instructors. Increase their bat speed and arm strength with proven enhancement programs. Contact PC Sports at 563-212-9685 for your player to be the best they can be. PC Sports is located at 1914 140th Street in Delmar, Iowa. The staff at PC Sports is always adding new programs and opportunities, so subscribe to their Facebook page to keep up with everything going on at PC Sports. If you're looking for an old school cut, then Dan's Barbershop is just what you're looking for. No fancy frills, just a low cost cut with old time barbershop charm. Stop in and experience the social time that is lacking in this modern world. Dan's Barbershop is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Saturday, 7 a.m. to noon. Located at 301 North Main Street in Maquoketa, Iowa. And speaking of Saturdays, bring your cup of coffee and enjoy a free donut on Saturday morning as the main topic of conversation is usually centered around Maquoketa Athletics. Dan's Barbershop is a proud sponsor of MCSN and Dan says, let's go Cardinals! Are you an intermodal freight forwarder or broker and looking for a trucking company to take care of your customer? Then give JM Transportation a call. They offer attractive rates to handle the intermodal containers in Denver, Colorado regional area. JM Transportation can be reached at 720-606-4233 or at, email them at dispatch at jmtransportation.net.
And back here, good now. Field getting ready to start the second half. Hopefully, I got that scoreboard cam figured out again. But if it locks up, it locks up. I'm sure Depke will let me know. Yeah, if you want to go, go ahead. Here, James. I'll, I just got your text about your the last one. I'll, I'll text you later. But the, the short answer is, you know, not really. <laughs> Bob want that. So the Cardinals Connor Becker has it teed up. And kicks it deep. It's on a line drive. Unson mits or excuse me, Cachetta misplays it, picks it up and just heads Seam straight ahead. He's gonna cut out towards the right sideline. Atkinson on high. Emmett Sheets low, bring him out of bounds about the 40 yard line. So a good return for Cachetta to start the second half for Marion. So first and 10, Marion at their own 40 yard line to start the second half. 54. What's that say? Six what, five? We're in tight here. Yeah, they got nobody split out. White Unson in motion Ooh, on the high ball. Pitch. He's oh, it's throw it. No, and he's going to run it. Didn't have an Ooh. angle, and there was a big collision over there in the far side as he hit the right or left sideline and got about a seven, eight yard gain out of it. Isaac Christ was in on the chase, and Abe Mickle is the one that finally brought him out of bounds at the 48 yard line. So, second and two. Looks like he might be a left-handed thrower, by the way. Yeah. He's setting up a let it loose, but didn't have enough oh. time to get it off. You know, as good as it felt in the first half, man, if they score here, it's 21-10, and you don't feel as great about things. God, you're pessimistic. I know. <laughs> it's part of being a dad, I think. <laughs> oh, Paulson goes head to the left over left tackle, and he's going to be stuffed up right at the right sticks. Right at the line. They're going to give him a first down on this. Taven Rich and Isaac Christ and... Jack Bowman in on the stop. Now, well, this is one you got to measure, right? Well, the other, the other, yep. see, the other marker though is past the forty, so they should have measured. <laughs> well, that's our guys over there, Chad. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why it's very important. When I did chains, I always made sure that chain was pulled tight. You know, I have a pregame ritual to go to to go tell Mitch have a good game out there. <laughs> So when we have chain issues, send your inquiries to Mitch Mickle, care of. <laughs> <laughs> Quick pitch to Cachetta. Oh. And he avoids three tackles and busts uh -oh. it out to the right at the 30, 25. Hunter Conley and Liam on and converge to bring him down, but not before he's down to the 22. You know, Marion's had a lot of success between that the, run, from, yeah. from the 40 yard line. Can you hold that guy? 40 to the 40. They've gotten some really big gains at that midfield spot down yeah. into Cardinal Isaac territory. Isaac Chris was right next to him in the background, in the backfield. Kai, can you just hold the camera there? 9.52 to go, third quarter. Cardinals on top, 21-3. Now they're gonna split out one to the right, two to the left in a power eye formation. Got a tight end on the left. Quick pitch, Cachetta. Oh, there, there's nice play by Isaac Chris. Isaac Chris, Dixie Solomon helps out. Taven Rich forms a wall. And the ball's marked at the 22, so a short gain of one, second and nine so for Marion. Isaac took away the outside, forced him to go in, and then he just went in and got him. You want to sit? I'll stand for a bit. Second and nine from the Cardinals 21 for Marion. Split out two to the right, one to the left. I formation behind Paulson under center. It's gonna be an ISO to Cachetta and Leo, Leo Beal, Beal again with the gets the penetration and able to drag him down. Cachetta's really good with that stiff arm. He plants it right in the helmet of the defender and pushes him out of the way. But Leo Beal fought through that and grabbed Jersey. Ball spot at the 22. Leo's got a 
Big Third. wingspan. He just reached out and grabbed him. Got some strong hands yeah, on him, too. Yeah, he does. Third and nine. Marion's going to re-huddle. 15 seconds on the play clock. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Eye formation behind Paulson. It's going to be hand off Cachetta again. Chris got the penetration, but unable to corral him in the backfield. And he's able to get a decent gain out of it. Down to the about the 16 yard lines. We're going to mark him down as he took off to the left. So fourth and four at the Cardinals 16 yard line for Marion. Yep, make a play. Double wide or double wide to the right, and one to the far left. I formation behind Paulson under center. It's on the left hash. They're going with the long count, trying to draw him off. Nobody moves, and it's going to be the ISO and Taven oh Rich in gosh. the backfield Blew with penetration. Brings Cachetta down for a loss. Back to the 20. Cardinals will take over possession. First and 10. It was 7.29 on the clock in the third quarter with a 21-3 lead. Well, I think that's the biggest play of the game so far. That was huge. We're, we are getting a lot of penetration we on the are. defensive line. It's just a matter of being able to wrap up the back. And Cachetta, yeah. got some, he's got some mo juke moves back Yeah, he's there. a good runner. So trips are going to team up on the, <laughs> on the far left. At the end, it's to the far right. And it's going to be a Coakley keeping it over his right guard. And it's going to be a short gain of about maybe two to the 22. Brought down by Ben Gibson, number 56 of the Indians. That was a good guess on the tackle there, Chad. <laughs> Unless Bob's just listening to me now. <laughs> I still cannot see those numbers. Even in the darkness of night, you can't read it's those tough. numbers. Yeah, God. It's tough. That's one thing about our road jerseys. Red numbers are easy to read. Yeah. Red and the white. Trips to the near side to the left. Coakley's going to hand off to Connor Becker. There's a hole. A stutter step. Gets it up in the First middle. Down. He's out past the 30-yard line. Tackled by what? Lucas Unson. And Ball spotted at the 31, first and 10 Cardinals. Clock running, 6.30 to go, third quarter. 21 to three, the score from Coconut on top. Homecoming 2019. Connor. Trips to the near side as they're gonna bunch them up together. Becker to the right of Coakley at the end of far, split out far right. Gonna be a handoff, Becker to a little stutter step, takes it over his left guard. And is up past about the 35, 36 yard line. And tackled by Gibson once again on the play along with number 52, Caden Swinger. So second and five Cardinals at their own 36. Trips to the near side and Luna Christ on in. Etienne's a split out far right. Becker to the right of Coakley in the shotgun. Hand off Becker. Or no, that's Grunwald. Sorry, it's Grunwald is in the backfield. And takes it off towards the left sideline. They got a Marion Indian down on the 41. Yeah, uh, Grunwald is brought down about the 39. And we'll have a timeout here for the injured Marion player. Left leg, I'm guessing, by the way, it's. While they attend to him, we'll take a quick break. You listen to Makoka to Cardinals on MCSN. Got a baseball or softball player? Smiles on Main, a distinguished dental care provider, conveniently located in Makoka to Iowa. At Smiles on Main, we have a special interest in your dental health. Dr. Salvador, Buddy Atienza, Dr. Abby Giel, and their highly qualified team of professionals will work with you to create an individualized treatment plan specifically designed to address your unique needs. 
Nothing exudes beauty and confidence like a bright, vibrant smile. And at Smiles on Main, we believe that everyone deserves to experience life-altering benefits of a radiant, healthy smile. Smiles on Main is located at 119 South Main. Got it taken care of. I get the first. Grunewald with the carry, he's out to the 42. Another Walmack scores. Uh, six minutes to go in the third quarter. Xavier 35 to nothing over Waller. Uh, Western Dubuque is playing CPU tonight. Ball spot at the 42. First and 10 Cardinals. Double wides both sides. Grunewald in the backfield to the right with Coakley. Coakley's going to drop back. Looks downfield, looks back to the left and going deep to on and down the near sideline. And I'm going to say he was out of bounds. Yeah, ball got knocked up in the air and it was caught by the Marion defender down there. Looks like it hit on and in the face mask maybe first or? Wyatt Cannon. But it's going to be grilled incomplete. Looked like it could have been a pass interference on the defense, but yeah, not called. Fans were wanting that. So second and 10 at the Cardinals 42. And meanwhile, Western Dubuque with halftime at CPU is up 41-0. Not real shocker there. Coakley in a shotgun trips to the far right. I mean, I'm talking far, far right. It's going to be the bubble screen. Nope, they're going to fake that with on and looks down the seam at the Enza. And just threw and it behind him. Now we're going to get the makeup yeah. call right there. <laughs> Defender was on at Tienza. And I actually think that might have been a decent play there, but we're going to throw the defensive pass interference on that one. Is that a 10 yard penalty? Yeah. That'll be a 15. 15. 15 yard round. Ball spot at the 43 of Marion. First and 10, Cardinals, 421 to go. Third quarter, Onan and Luna split out to the far right. Etienza to the left. Mickle in as the sniffer back. And Cannon just gonna keep it himself. Unce breaks the tackle of Unson, powers over another one. He's just dragging three Indians all the way down the near sideline. It's inside the 20 and inside the 15, out of bounds around the 13 yard line. And we got a Marion Indian down on the sideline. And he's saying it's his left shoulder. He's pointing out to the official. Well, while they look at that player, we'll take another break. You listen to Makoka to Cardinals on MCSN. Looking for an eye care professional that is committed to your vision health and is fully involved in the local area? Then C. Bisma Eye and Vision Center is the full service vision specialist for you. They offer comprehensive exams, contact and lens services, and more importantly, C. Bisma Eye and Vision Center treats infections, removal of foreign bodies, and is able to treat diseases of the eye. They have glasses that meet all budgets and look forward to helping you with your vision needs. Contact them through their website at cbismaeyecare.com or call their office at 563-652-2795 to schedule an appointment and take care of your vision needs at Cebisma Eye and Vision Center of Makokota. Cebisma Eye and Vision Center is a proud sponsor of MCSN and Makokota Cardinal Athletics. Guessing that's mostly why, but it could have been at first base too. So, first and 10, Makoka at their Marion 14. It's a Wildcat snap to Ryan Grunewald, takes it over to the left sideline. He's at the 10, the 5, into the end zone, just inside the pylon. Touchdown. Touchdown, Cardinals. 27 3. Cardinals on top, 402 to go. And that's. Stupid scoreboard cam locked up again. I don't know if I got in the corner to get that either. I can't get that. I'm just sitting on this thing. 
blanket on the camera. Oops. And Connor Becker with the PAT is good, makes it 28 to three. With 4.02 to go in the third quarter on homecoming 2019. Again, uh, happy birthday shout out to Caleb Coates tonight. See how long that stays up this time. Depke's our quality control guy tonight. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Coach. I can't wait for the winter bus rides. Becker to kick it away. It's going to come down to Pachetta at his own five, and he just goes straight forward and gets it out to the 30. Blaze Luna on the tackle. I tell you what, Pachetta is going to have a sore body tomorrow because yeah, he he's carried a workload here tonight for Marion. So first and 10, Marion at the own 30. 3.54 on the clock, 28-3, Makoka on top. We got double wide to the right, single wide out in the power eye. And the ball snap is loose. It's on we the ground it. and looks like the Cardinals may have it. <laughs> Who's coming out of the pile with it? Who jumped on that? Liam on at number 12, recovers it. So big turnover for Marion there as it'll be first and 10, Makoka at the 31 yard line of Marion. Cardinal offense to come back on the field. You're going to have to hurry because the play clock's down to yeah, seven. No, Restarted started that right away. Trips to the far right. Becker on the right of Coakley. Drops back, looking for Atienza down the seam again. Yeah. And that's a nice defensive play there. Nope, they're going to say he trapped it on the ground. Oh. No, no pick. <laughs> Is that uh, Johnson over there that made that play, number 16? I think so. He's been on, he's almost had a couple of those. That was a nice read. He saw it coming and just cut right in front of Atienza. So Coakley gets away with one there. It's second and ten. Trips to the near side to the left. Atienza splits out to the far side right. Becker to the left of Coakley in the shotgun. Hand off Becker, takes it off right tackle, and it's gonna get stopped right at the line of scrimmage by Unson. And Thomas McAllister also in on the play for Marion. Trips to the near side. Atienza to to split out right, far side. Becker to the left of Coakley. Coakley's going to drop back. He's got Chris wide open here in the flat. Gets it to him at the 30. Makes the, uh, avoids the first tackler. Runs over a second. Driving hard. He's close to the 20. He's got a first down, doesn't he? It's going to be where they spot the ball. Yep, they're saying first down on the Unson, far side. Unson on the tackle, and they are moving the sticks. So first and 10, Cardinals. Good hard run after the pass out in the flat to Chris, who had nobody around for like 10 yards, and then. Uh, yeah, the cannon not see him right away. 
Throwing it somewhere. Well, he's not used to having someone <laughs> wide open like that. Trips to the near side with Luna on it and Grunewald. Atienzo spread out far right. That, that's that's they're gonna have a false start on Taven Rich. He left early. About saying that defensive alignment, they had to they hit Atienza if they could hit him on the inside seam there. It was wide open in the secondary. Yeah, he's got a good defender on him. Just gotta get that inside position on him, Chad. That's right. Got a safety kind of cheating there on the inside, though, to spy on the play. So spot the ball five yards back at the Marion 25, first and 15 with 211 to go, third quarter. Jet sweep to Atienza. Oh, good block. Gets it off to the right side. He's going to be stopped at about the 21. Connor. Connor Becker had a nice block there to spring him. Ball. Isaac Dakota on the tackle. It does because it's a jet sweep in front, so it is goes down as a pass. Now, if he hands it to him, it's a run, but then he does that little pitch to him, that's a pass. Second and 11 at the 21. Trips to the far left. Etienne's a right. Becker, Coakley's going to keep it. Heads off to the right tackle. Gets out of the shoelace tackle of Onsen, but he's brought down, but he's going to have enough for a first down. Johnson was the one that finished him off. He'll spot the ball inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. First and goal, Cardinals at the 8. 28-3, Cardinals leading. Looking for more here. They're hungry. One minute to go, third quarter. Trips to the left, at the ends of right. Becker to the left to Coakley in the shotgun. Coakley's gonna take it off left. Option pitch to Becker, turns it up at the five, the four, oh. and brought down on the play. Christian Lacoste, number 57. Cardinals quick, no huddle. Go to the line, Coakley just barrel straight ahead in that rugby scrum once again. He's going to be stopped short of the goal line. He's got a flag down, and it's going to be, I think, uh, I don't think everybody was set for the Cardinals. It's going to be a, be a false start. Hurried, hurried yeah. it to the line too yeah. fast. All right. I'm not getting a good angle here. Penalty will take the ball back to the eight-yard line. Second and goal, Makoka. Clock will start, 25 seconds, 20 seconds on the play clock. I can't keep that scoreboard cam from locking up at all. Every five seconds it wants to lock up. So forget it. Double wides both sides, Becker to the left of Coakley. Grunewald goes in motion across to the right. Coakley is gonna take it hard off left and get down to the five where he's brought down on the play. Pick up by Carter Scott. That will take us to the end of the third quarter. We'll go all the way across the field for a third and goal from the five for the Cardinals. We come back leading 28 to three on MCSN. Yeah, let's run Dan's commercial. If you're looking for an old school cut, then Dan's Barbershop is just what you're looking for. No fancy frills, just a low cost cut with old time barbershop charm. Stop in and experience the social time that is lacking in this modern world. Dan's Barbershop is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Saturday, 7 a.m. to noon. Located at 301 North Main Street in Maquoketa, Iowa. And speaking of Saturdays, Bring your cup of coffee and enjoy a free donut on Saturday morning as the main topic of conversation is usually centered around Makoka Athletics. Dan's Barbershop is a proud sponsor of MCSN and Dan says, let's go Cardinals! He is. <laughs> Hope he didn't pull a hammy. <laughs> Official running down, getting in position. He had some speed. Going wildcat. When 
wonder if I got a USB plug from. Coakley split out far right and with Onan. Grunewald at quarterback. It's going to be a Wildcat run to the left. Co Grunewald looking for that pylon. Reaches out. Oh, No signal oh. yet. They're going to say he's just short. It looked like he got the ball on the pylon. Yeah, he knocked the pylon out. But they say he came up short. That's a long ways from here on the far side from us here on our right. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't see where the knee maybe was down or something too, but just looked like his last ditch effort was reaching out. So fourth and goal from at the, the one foot line. Nope, not going to go with the rugby scrum here. They're going to sp spread it out. Mm. Now, Connor Becker gets the handoff from Coakley and tries off left side, and he stopped for a loss of one. So they'll turn the ball over on downs. With 11.48 to go, fourth quarter. Cardinals on top, 28-3. to three. Marion will start first and 10 at their own three-yard line. We lose yardage on that? Yeah, we lost two yards. Lost a two. How about a safety? Yeah, we've seen that in DeWitt game. Let's get another one. About the same area. Yeah. We've gotten penetration all night. Kind of got a spread out defense here as they're spreading out the receivers. We got Mickel and Connor oh. coming straight up the middle. And they got him in the backfield waiting on the signal. No, he's saying at the one foot oh, line. Oh, my goodness. You can't get past that line more than what he's showing. You think the guy in the middle did a better oh, do Oh, they that, stuffed that. We'll do it again, and then we got it. That's a three-yard loss. I mean, the, the nose of the ball on the backside is almost touching the goal line. See if they... They blitz right up the middle again. It's been successful night. They're going to really pile up in the middle. Oh, the ball's on the ground. Ball came out. This time it's got to be a safety, right? We're going to see if the ball came out and got recovered by the Cardinals. At the very least, it should be a safety. Waiting on the signal yet. It's Dixie Solomon has the ball, and he's in touchdown. the end zone. They're, They're going to say touchdown, Cardinals. Dixie, Dixie Solomon. <laughs> wow. Homecoming has special moments, doesn't it, shit? Wow. Dixie Solomon with a touchdown. The snap never got to the quarterback's hands. It was on the ground. It took forever to figure out who had it. Dixie all of a sudden standing about 10 yards away with a football in the end zone. So 34-3 Cardinals. Connor Becker out for the extra point. Snap is good. The hold is down. And the kick is up and good and halfway to the YMCA. And it's 35 to three with 10.58 to go here at homecoming 2019. Cardinals on can't, MCSN. Can't beat that. Homecoming King getting a touchdown on homecoming. No, can't. No. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. If they hadn't gotten that field goal, we'd be at running clock right now. Just keep it here during the break instead. No, after the kickoff. But they got that field goal, so we have to score again to get running clock. Hey, if we get running clock, there's free haircuts at Dan's tomorrow, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think our whole audience just heard that. I'm sorry, we weren't in commercial. <laughs> Hind to kick off for the Cardinals. It kicks down to the 16-yard line, returned by Marion. He's up past the 30, and then tackled by Max Kwan and Hunter Conley at the 35. Was Johnson on the return for Marion? So 
So you know when the exchange student's getting in on the kickoffs, it's going good, right? Yeah, that's right. 35-3, Cardinals up big over Marion. See him? Paulson still in the quarterback for Marion. Eye formation, quick pitch to Cochetta. Takes off towards the right, being chased by guys at Chris from behind. Uh oh. And there's there's going to be a late hit. hit. Isaac Chris was riding him out of bounds and still continued to take him down into the, well, into the Marion sideline. So out of bounds at the 39, tack on 15. It's gonna put him in Cardinal territory. And it'll stop at the 46 of Makokotas where they'll spot at first and 10 for Marion. Eye formation behind Paulson under center. Double wide to the left, single to the right. Hand off, Cochetta, straight ISO play. Follows fullback, Abe Mickle in on the tackle has got about a yard to the 45. Spot the ball at the 44. 10 19 and counting on the clock. Double wides to the left for Marion. Single to the far right. Eye formation behind Paulson under center. Drop back, quick pass. Throws out into the flat. And Richie Atkinson had the receiver up on his shoulder as he went up for the pass. And got another Marion injury on the receiver as he came down. Kind of was grabbing the back of his knee there on the left leg. So why they tend to him, we'll take a break. You're listening to Cardinals on MCSN. When you got? Jam. Are you an intermodal freight forwarder or broker and looking for a trucking company to take care of your customer? Then give JM Transportation a call. They offer attractive rates to handle the intermodal containers in Denver, Colorado regional area. JM Transportation can be reached at 720-606-4233 or at, email them at dispatch at jmtransportation.net. Catch the number of who it was. I know it was the receiver that was being attended to. While we got a second, Chad, you know, we kind of talked, touched about this uh, ourselves, but, you know, we, we've, we've said before how Marion's always been our rival, and yeah, it, for us back in our day, and now it's become DeWitt over the years, but now with DeWitt going to be moving on to a whole new conference, and Marion with Anamosa leaving the year before coming into that spot, it'd be really nice to see this Marion Makoka rivalry get fueled up again. Yeah, absolutely. That's number 15. 15. That's CJ Anderson. Mm, don't like to see that. They're carrying him off. He's not putting any, not trying to do anything with that leg. Mm. You know, and Basketball season, especially on the boys' side, it kind of almost did become a rivalry again yeah. last oh, year because yeah. Marion got them, got the boys twice, and that was probably Makoka's best team in almost 30 some years. So I'm sure there's going to be some extra emotions when uh, Makoka and Marion meet in the hard court again this uh, winter. So here we go. We got. Third and eight at the Makoka to 44 for Marion. Paulson drops back, throws a quick oh. out, and incomplete. Jack Bowman and Hunter Conley on the coverage over there as Marion hasn't even had really an open receiver all night. And, and poor Paulson and Carsonson early on didn't even have a chance this, to even set up and throw. Is this, 
Oh, Dylan Paulson's brother? Yeah. He's a sophomore, I think, if I remember right. No, I mean, we have the You have the sheets I gave you earlier, don't you? Uh, yeah. Because I don't even have him on the depth chart and playing quarterback this year. That's how, that's how uh, they've been just scrambling trying to. Junior. Junior. Paulson's going to roll out and gets it off and does complete it down mm, to the 36. It's going to be a first down. To Cochetta. It's right at the stick. And they're going to say first down. So the move the chains. First and 10, Marion. Paulson just got that pass off and Blaze Moon was in his face. He's about ready to take him out. I jinxed it, Chad. I said they really hadn't had the receiver open all night and they found <laughs> one. As soon as I said it. My fault, my fault. Double wide to the far right, single to the left. I formation behind Paulson under center. Ball on the left hash mark at the Cardinal 40 or 35. It's gonna be a pitch to Cachetta and he's gonna get met head on with Connor Becker. And Connor with a nice aggressive hit yeah, there. Yeah, they're playing with some energy tonight. I'll, I'll tell you what, they're I think that's been a focus since uh, that Mount Vernon game. We were just flat, you know. Marked the ball at the 34, so second and nine. Clock stopped. That's going out of bounds at 9.14 to go. Double wide to the right. Single to the left. Eye formation again behind Paulson. Still on the left hash. Iso play to the left, Cachetta. James Leopold is not able to make the tackle. Breaks the one of Richie Atkinson on the sideline and squirts ahead another six yards for Richie. Or Jack Bowman is the one that finished him up. So that's another first down as he got inside the 25 to the 24. Gain of 10 on the play. Double wide to the left, single to the right. I formation once again. And just straight ahead, there's a big hole there in the middle as the Cardinals were blitzing and overloading on the left. Leo Mon and Jack Bowman bring him down, but not before he gets another first down. And spots the ball at the 11 yard line, first and 10. Got some substitutions in there now for the Cardinals as well. You got Colton Laughlin's in, Grant Mickles in at defensive end. Teddy Cook's in there, defensive tackle. Mac Quan and middle linebacker. Starting to work in some others. A little There's trickery. a misdirection here and the tackle made by Atkinson. Is uh, Unson on the uh, wing back uh, sweep, I guess you'd call that, right? Ball placed at the six, second and five. Double wide to the right, single to the left. I formation behind Paulson. Ball on the left hash mark once again. It's gonna be the ISO and that's gonna be sniffed out and stopped. Blaze Luna and Colton Laughlin were the first ones there. Not fooled on that one. Nope. Ball still placed down at the five, so third and four. Seven minutes to go in the ball game. You know, looks like it's going to be a happy homecoming for some yep. Cardinals, finally. It's very been a while since they've won the homecoming game, isn't it? Here we go, third and four, I formation. Paulson's going to split out to the, or sw swing out to his right. Oh, did he catch that? Yep, oh, makes wow. the catch. He threw it into the end zone. Receiver laid out for it. I think I missed it on the camera. Wyatt Cannon, who's a backup quarterback. It was a nice catch. Yeah, it was. He laid out perpendicular to the ground and went and got it. Makes it 35 to nine. 
Jaffer Murphy. So Jaffer Murphy on to attempt the extra point. Kick is up and not very high, but yeah, it goes through. through. Just got enough of it to get up over top of it. Was, had some good momentum on it, but it had to get over that crossbar just barely. So 35-10, 6.39 to go. You listen to the Cardinals on MCSN. If you're looking for an old school cut, then Dan's Barbershop is just what you're looking for. No fancy frills, just a low cost cut with old time barbershop charm. Stop in and experience the social time that is lacking in this modern world. Dan's Barbershop is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Saturday, 7 a.m. to noon. Located at 301 North Main Street in Maquoketa, Iowa. And speaking of Saturdays, bring your cup of coffee and enjoy a free donut on Saturday morning as the main topic of conversation is usually centered around Maquoketa Athletics. Dan's Barbershop is a proud sponsor of MCSN and Dan says, let's go Cardinals! Back here, good now. Jaffer Murphy will kick it away for the Indians. Who got back deep? Is that Onan? Yeah. Liam Onan's going to return a kick, huh? Kaya yeah. Coakley's out there? What? We got the hands oh, team. Oh, hands team. We got yeah. hands team. We're six. Make sure don't. I was looking like for Kane on the sideline. I thought maybe he was probably coming out of the game. Well, let's we'll see if they do try the onside kick. It's exactly, yeah, it's going to be what it's going to be kind of a squibber. Go out of bounds. Kicked it too hard. Goes out of bounds at the 40. Now, now if they mark this back at the 35, I'm going to cry <laughs> foul. <laughs> then I'm going to have some issues here. I'll be slamming down the headset, heading down the stairs, mm. out onto the field, and put the 45. So it is five yards from where it went out of bounds then. Okay, so now I know, and I'll forget it by next week. See, we're doing some substitution on offense here too. It's not can and come out of the huddle. Yeah, you got uh, Malik McGlynn's in there, Peyton Schuler, CP. Emmett Sheets, Cole Jacob Moffin, Thompson. Adrian Albert. Yeah. On and a quarterback, Peyton Schuler at running back. Did you say that already? Yep. Right. Yep. And it's gonna hand off to Schuler, and he's gonna find going up the middle is gonna be tough here. And Garrett Wagner on the tackle. So ball at the 44, you have 44 yard line of Makokita. You got McGlynn and Conley split out right. Thompson and who's Emmett Sheets, the other receiver on the left. Onan's going to keep it and head off toward the right. Turns it upfield and across Still the going. midfield. And down at the Marion 48. He broke the tackle there, number 74, who I, I don't have the list in front of me of who that is, but now you're starting to get to the where I didn't even write him down on the on the spotting board. I'm running down the steps. <laughs> this is what happens when San Jose State plays at, uh, <laughs> I'll take your pick, Alabama. <laughs> Let on and throw one. Yeah. Throw one to Malik. On and keeps, heads to the left. Oh. Get a lot of pressure. Is <laughs> He's going to lose some yards there. McAllister on the tackle for Marion. Ball will be spot back on the Cardinal side of the field, the 48 yard line. So fourth and six. And we're going to punt it away. Now who's going to punt? Yeah, I was going to say who's punting. Oh, uh, Eric. Truesdale. Truesdale, yep. Eric Truesdale's in the game. So if you're watching in Sweden, tune in. 
on Saturday for the video. Here's a snap. Truesdale bobbles it a little bit. He's going to get it off. It's going to get handled. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Taven Rich uh, oh. just laid out McAllister. As McAllister grabbed it to 48. And Taven said, hello. <laughs> You'll be you can. They said it was tipped. Well, I got a question, and I don't know the answer to this. That's why I'm asking the question. On a rugby-style kick, can you can you tackle him? Because basically it becomes know. a That's runner, a right? That's a good question. What would you say, Kai? If Coach Hillebrand's <laughs> listening to us on the Hill, will you text me, uh, will you message me about that rule on that, please? Four minutes to go. If anybody would know, Coach Hillebrand would know. So first and 10, Marion at the Cardinal 48. I thought I saw Paulson him. still in quarterback. He's rolling a bootleg and out to his right. Now he's going to take off running. Nice tackle by Grant Mickle. Grant Mickle getting some defensive work. Lane Stender's in on defense along with uh, that Adrian Albert, number 58. Yep. Colton Laughlin in there. Max Kwan, Jack Bowman. He's still got the two starting corners in there. Went out, Richie Atkins is gonna come out. Evan Smith and Sheets will come in and place him. You got Leopold and Jacob Thompson at safeties. Double wide to the left, single to the right. Eye formation, pitch to Cachetta. And it gets strung out. Jack Bowman makes another great open field tackle. He's made some nice plays. He's had a, a three-week stretch where yeah. just out of nowhere, you, you, just smart. Just all of a sudden, he's everywhere making tackles. Always in the right spot, it seems like. Puts himself in position to make plays. Ball marked at the 44 of Makokota. to be third and five. Oh, this is how you celebrate homecoming. Always feels better when you win the game. Just don't want him to score again. You just don't want to. No. Getting some substitutions in for Marion now. You better give me that roster. <laughs> Paulson, bootleg to the right, throws it downfield and overshoots the receiver down there. I think that was Wyatt Cannon. Got a penalty flag back at the line of scrimmage. Waiting on the signal. And it's going to be a legal procedure. Legal procedure against Marion. Spot the ball back at the 49. It'll be third and 10. I wouldn't get too cocky there, no. student section. <laughs> You're only three and three, peoples. <laughs> Ah, let them have some fun. They haven't had much fun over the last couple no, of years. No, they haven't. I don't want to be the old guy saying, get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Paulson drops back, throws the out. Nice Another enough. penalty. Oh, that's going to come out the end. They're going to say incomplete. I was wondering if they're going to call that a catch and a fumble or what. It took them a while to make the call. Wyatt Cannon on the attended receiver. We've got another penalty flag back here, huh? Looks like a chop block. Fourth down, you can just take over possession of the ball, right? I don't know, you guess if you decline it, yeah. Fourth down. It's third down right It'll now. It'll be fourth down. They're going to back him up. Back him up. Back him up. Way back. Yeah, you know, chop block. He can't go for the lineman's knees. Is that a 15-yarder now? No, nope. it's going to be 10. 10. So spotted at the Marion 39, so it's going to be... Third and almost, what, 22? So you got 11. Yeah, 22. Third and 22 for Marion. Paulson under center. He's going to bootleg out. He's got pressure and gets away from it. Throws it downfield. 
dropped. Yeah, right through the arms of the receiver. Conley had a chance to almost get the deflection and intercept it. Now the fourth and 22. Cachetta's having to do all the work, even to come over our sideline to get a wristband that had come off. I wonder if we took a picture of that <laughs> before we gave it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> click, click, <laughs> click. Here you go, son. <laughs> gonna punt. Yeah, Murphy's Who we in got back punt. here? Jacob Thompson? Jacob Thompson. Oh, that's over his head. Nope. Oh, nice play. Went back and got it. He's got time to get it off. It's off a decent kick, too. Oh. Jacob Thompson thought about it. He's going to get let it go and get away. And it's going to take a uh, Marion roll and be down at the 20-yard line. So 2.12 on the clock, left to go. Cardinals up big, 35-10 here at homecoming, 2019. Got the, all the backups in on offense now. Start the buses. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's been a while. Let them have yeah. fun. On and quick pitch to Schuler takes it off to the near far or near sideline towards the Cardinal bench. It'll be a short gain. Stayed in bounds though. He fell down yeah. before he got out of bounds. Keeps the clock running. Back by Ben Gibson. So gain of two. Second and eight from the 22. Not going to kneel down just quite yet because Marion does have all three of their timeouts left. And although I don't think they would probably use them here. Just no. think. Quick pitch to the left. Schuler tries to turn it up. Be a minimal gain again. Maybe a lot. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage. Caden Swinger on the tackle, number 52, along with number 74, who I don't even have on their roster, dude. Under a minute to go. <coughs> For us. <coughs> 45 seconds and counting on the clock. On in, gonna keep it himself. Turn it up over the right tackle. Gonna get it out about 27 yard line, and that should do it. Well, that should, yeah. You know, student section's already down there. Hey. Oh, I thought they were gonna go get the water bucket or something over here. <laughs> <laughs> They're just trying to get the good spot in line. There goes the best principal in the business. Oh, now he now he's not gonna feel left out. <laughs> <laughs> I got some stories to tell you about him last night, Coakley. It's <laughs> about <laughs> <laughs> so time will run down here and Makokota will celebrate a victorious homecoming. 35-10 over Marion. Here at Goodnow Field. We'll keep it here so we can wrap it up a little bit while we wait for them to get their talk so we can get on video the student section. Chad's trying to get some uh, final stats queued up over there. As the Cardinals came out swinging, up 21 nothing, and early in the second quarter, it just kind of cruised along from there. 35-10 the final, and how many yards rushing do we have tonight? We had a total of, well, it doesn't give me the team total there, but Ryan Grunewald had 125 himself. Remember when we were talking, we'd gone a few years without a 100-yard rusher, and we've had like four or five this year and all of a sudden. 387 rushing deal. 387 is a team rushing, and how many passing? Uh, just 64, I think. Didn't need it tonight. Nope. 
Ran the ball well. Ryan Grunewald in the first half was just killer. I mean, just yeah. killer running that ball. He ran with a lot of power. Um, how many scores does he have? Two or three? Mm -hmm. I'll have to. He's looking at the defensive stats now. Oh. So he had two for sure. All right. Well, I'm going to stop the stream on the audio. We're going to leave it running on the video so we can get the, the student section and the players to have their homecoming celebration. For everybody that was listening uh, live, tune in for the replay with video tomorrow on Saturday morning. We'll have it uploaded. And thank you again for joining us here on MCSN. For Chad Coakley, I'm Dale Scott. Have a good night. I want to make sure we get good uh, video on this this time. Bob. Get ready. There we go. Oh, you missed it. The one time you can easily get out of the stands going through the student section is during these moments. Yeah. <laughs> no, those are fun. like to have those during homecoming. What's that? Mm. Yeah. All right. I gotta pack this stuff up. Time to pack it up, boys.